What's up, y'all? This is your young boy, Young J Perk of J Perk Productions. Today is a special video. What is in my camera bag? The 2015 version. See, I got the lovely shirt on. You know, J Perk Productions forever. Um, so I'm gonna show you what's in my camera bag. We're gonna get started. Um, this stuff is mainly for photography. This is my old camera bag. I had this for about a few years. And going inside, we're gonna see what we see. So this is the lens pen. You know clean off your lenses and stuff like that out in the field get the dust off it's also this part right here with a little carbon cleaner to actually clean the lens element that's pretty cool and this is the small bag i, I since upgraded so i have um this just for you know just going out on small trips i need to bring a couple lenses maybe on a shoot or something like that um i carry a lot of business cards in here and you can just kind of see these all these business cards i have just carry all those. Um, always meet people, got a pen. And I really keep this one empty unless I'm actually shooting. So I keep a cloth in here sometimes. You know, it's hot outside. And that's essentially it within that one. So let's get into the, the big camera bag with, you know, a majority of the stuff. Ah. So this is the Langley Alpha Pro. This is the black bag, um, the black one. Um, yeah, it's black. It looks kind of blue. I don't know if they don't know their colors, but it's made out of some canvas leather, uh, multiple parts. So let's start at this part right here. Um, I'm going to keep my portable charger, you know, always on the go. Need to keep the iPhones and all the, any other devices charged up. Uh, selfie stick charger. Need that. Uh, this is the charge, the actual, you know, portable charger. Got to keep your skin moisturized, so I keep some uh, some lotion, some moisturization. This is to charge up my Square credit card reader, the uh, EMV chip reader, so that keeps that charged. Um, I have a watch in here for some reason, hmm. and a couple of these extra. So really nothing too special in that compartment. Um, and these two compartments, I usually keep water. Uh, I do have a few pens in here, but. You know, I'm always thirsty in the summertime, just keep me hydrated, you know, when out there actually creating. So let's get into the big part. So before I get deep in there, I'll show you this side right here. It opens up. It can fit a 15-inch notebook. Um, this is a 15-inch MacBook Pro with Retina display, so it could fit that in there. Um, this is the Japer production notebook. I do, you know, paperwork on the go, contracts and things like that. I hold, hold them in this section in my bag so open up this main compartment I had the 85 millimeter 1.8 um, this is a great portrait lens I got this November 2012 when I had my T2i which is right there we're recording this and on this camera is the um, 6d with the 50 millimeter and then on T2i I had the uh, kit lens just so I can show you as much as the coolest gear that I have while actually recording multiple cameras for this video so that's the 85 millimeter 1.8. Keep some portable speakers. I do a lot of music videos. These come in handy with playing songs off the phone to get it, you know, very audible. Um, these are two neutral density filters. This is a 58 millimeter. This is a 77. The 58 fits on this, and the 77 will fit on the 24 millimeter. And that's for music videos as well. When I want to get that uh, 150th of a second, also keeping a shallow depth of field without overexposing when doing video. And they're variable, so I don't think they're the sharpest. So if I want to step up into like just standard neutral density filters, I will definitely do that for photography and long exposure stuff, but maybe in the future. This is a nice little thing. Um, keeps the rain off the camera. It's really nice. Amazon, you get them about $11 or cheaper. And yeah, it just really keeps your, your camera dry in rainy situations. So we'll put that back. And going into the bottom part, let's show you this bottom. And the bag is like, you know, separated into two sections. So I can kind of do something like this. Break it open like that. And here goes another lens. This is the 100 millimeter, 135 millimeter F2. I uh, just got this in April of 2015. A beautiful portrait lens, uh, great compression, different things like that. So we'll put that to the side. I love using that. Um, use it for like one video, but a lot of portrait sessions. I've been using this recently, and it's just been great. Here's another beast, a 24 millimeter f 1.4. Um, this is my first L lens. I uh, got this in January of 2012. 
it, it's been 2012 yes 2012 um i felt like back in those days i just felt like i wanted a lens that i wouldn't have to replace that did something as far as the wide that was fast so i had got this now it was on a t2i i've been using it for music videos uh landscape nightscape stars like all types of variety of photography events and this is just kind of my workhorse and it's beautiful because it's fast i can go down to 1.8 1.4 get the crazy shallow depth of field also get amazing low light capability so this is a great lens great 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 lens and this right here i don't have too many lenses i see this is the 100 millimeter 2.8 macro lens this is a great lens as well um, I definitely just really like this lens this um, is like really close up if you want to get your subjects really close if you know want to showcase details and products so I did a few product photography shoots also did something where I work with you know different brands on you know showcasing what they create as far as food photography like I said product photography and this is a perfect lens because this lens can get amazingly close to your subject isolate and bury minute details and it's beautiful it's a macro lens so it's kind of special as far as specialty lenses yeah and that's really you know essentially all the lenses that I use uh, like I said before the 50 is up there um, this is the kit lens on the T2i and that's really it. So this is the camera bag. It's a Langley Pro. It's waterproof. Well, I'll say water resistant uh, during the rain out. And I wouldn't say it's submergible, but uh, heavy rain, uh, everything in here will be fine. So I'm going to take this on my trip and, you know, plenty of trips throughout traveling. Kind of use this will be my new camera bag. So this is what is in my camera bag. So what is in your camera bag? This is being a young boy, young Jay Perk of Jay Perk Productions. And I appreciate y'all for watching. And... Come on, comment which on y'all camera bag and what would you like to see me add to mine?